This is uh, problem set 10.4. And if you look at the problems from, uh, let's say, 1 to 26, they're very, very, very similar to the ones that we've done. Let's go ahead and just do, um, let's do 26 there. They have 5x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x. And we're adding 2x squared plus 5x plus 1. All right, so again, we have a plus sign, so we can just take off parentheses. We don't have to do anything to anything. So we just go ahead and write everything as is because of that plus sign. And we start circling things that are like terms. So 5x squared, or 5x cubed. If I look over here, I have no other 5x cubed, so that's going to stay by itself. Nothing gets done to that. And let's cross it out just to show that we're done. We have a 2x squared. Oh, there's another 2x squared. So I can add those up. And I get 4x squared. Remember, you just add the numbers. You don't add the exponents or the variables. Then I have a plus 3x and a plus 5x, so that's going to give me plus 8x. And then this one here just kind of dangles there because there's nothing to combine it with. And there's my answer. So that's how you do number 26. Now if we continue down with these, these um, problems, if you look at 27 and below, we have some with fractions in it. Don't let the fractions scare you. Let's look at number 28. We have 3 eights, and that's a really lame three. Let's put a new number there. Three eights x cubed minus five sevenths x squared minus, whoops, minus two over five. And that's in a parenthesis. And we're going to add. We like to add because that means we don't have to change the sign of anything. Okay, so all we have to do, and let's just go ahead and do that, take off the sign of that, take off the sign of that, and we can just combine like terms. So this has an x cubed, this has an x cubed. Remember to also take your sign with you. So 3 eighths plus 5 eighths is 8 over 8. Remember, you're just adding the numerators. So that's done. Then we have, let's see, blue, negative 5 sevenths x squared, negative 2 sevenths x squared. So signs are the same, so I add them. So negative 5 plus negative 2 is negative 7 over 7 x squared, so those go away. And then finally, I have negative 2 fifths and a positive 7 fifths. So the signs are different. We take the difference between the two, put the sign of the um, biggest one, which is in this case is positive from right here on your answer. So let's make that 5 actually look like a 5. And there's no variable, so it just stays that way. 8 over 8 is 1, so we're just going to write it as x cubed. 7 over 7 is 1, so we're just going to write that as negative 1x squared, or just negative x squared. And 5 over 5 is 1, so we end up with that. So that ends up being the simplified version of uh, what we just did as far as combining these terms. Now, when you get to ones like number, oh, let's see, 32. We've got 4x cubed minus 2 fifths x squared plus 3 eighths x minus 1. And then we're going to subtract 9 halves x cubed plus 1 fourth, if I have room, minus x plus 5 six. So what we're going to do in order to take the parentheses off, there's a minus sign here, so we've got to be aware of that. So we write the very first polynomial exactly as it's written.
and the second one, because of this minus sign, we're changing all the signs. So instead of a positive 9 halves, it's going to be a negative 9 halves x cubed minus 1 fourth x squared plus x minus 5 6. So let's look at our like terms. I have a 4x cubed and a negative 9 halves x cubed that I can combine because those are alike. And I have a negative 2 fifths x squared and a negative 1 fourth x squared. So I can combine those two. And let's do this one in yellow. I've got a positive 3 eighths x and a positive x. So I can combine those two. And let's see, what else do I have? Um, i do this one in light blue here. I've got a negative 1 and a negative 5, 6 that I can combine. So that's all I need to do is bring those together. So let's put them in the right order of what we're doing here. We've got a 4x cubed and we're subtracting 9 halves x cubed. So those are we're going to put those together. I have a negative 2 fifths x squared minus 1 fourth x squared. Okay, so minus 1 fourth squared. And then we can get rid of that and get rid of that. And we have a plus 3 eighths x. And we have an x, so those go away. And we have a minus 1 and a minus 5, 6. So now we have all of our like terms together. So we're going to combine these two. And then we're going to combine these two. Then these two. And then lastly, those two right there. So let's go ahead and look at these. So we can't add or subtract those until we have common denominators. So we need a denominator of 2. So this was a 4 over 1. In order for that 1 to become a 2, we had to multiply it by 2. So we multiply the top number by 2 as well. And we just tag the 8 cubed on there. Minus 9 halves x cubed. So these two, when we combine them, give us um, 8 minus 9 is negative 1. Okay, negative 1 half x cubed. So that's done. So let's get rid of all that so we don't get confused with what's going on here. Alright, so um, I'm going to put a line here because this is our answer down below that line. Now let's look at what we have here. Negative 2. 2 fifths x squared minus 1 fourth x squared. Common denominator of 5 and 4 is going to be a 20, and we had to multiply 5 times 4 to get that 20, so we're going to multiply this 2 times 4. Put our negative right there on there. And we made that 4 a 20. What did we multiply by 4 to get 20? 5, so we have to multiply that. And that's a minus x squared. So when we bring these together, negative 8 minus 5 is negative 13 over 20 x squared. So let's go ahead and see if we can get rid of that. So we are done with that part of it. Okay, so let's look at this next part right here. Positive 3 eighths x plus 1x. So it's 1 over 1. We have to change that 1 right here to an 8. So we multiply the 1 by the 8. So we multiply the top 1 by the 8. Add 3 and 8 and get 11. And tag the x on there. And so that one's done. And then last, we have negative 1 minus 5, 6. So we're going to have to change that negative 1 to a common denominator, and we'll make it a 6. So we multiplied 1 over 1, 
um, the bottom number by 6, so the top number by 6, so that's a negative 6 over 6 minus 5, 6. Negative 6 minus 5 is negative 11 over 6. And that ends up being where we're at. Now, this right here can be changed to negative 1 half x cubed to just x cubed over 2 because we am negative we do not have to show the 1 here because it's an assumed 1 right in front of there so it doesn't have to be shown but you can put it there if you want but that ends up being the nasty answer that you get there so that's problem set 10.4